first let me bring in Raghav Chadda member of parliament of the Aam Aadmi Party uh, Mr Chadda I appreciate your time uh, you know this has been a record breaking standoff with the kind of suspensions that we have seen is there belligerence on both the sides well first of all maria let me say this in no uncertain terms that this is not a uh, merely suspension of a few mps this is suspension of india's democracy and today you witness scenes in both chambers both in the lok sabha and the rajya sabha that draconian laws bills that have far reaching consequences on the lives and livelihoods of people being rushed through without a voice from the opposition uh and what is the demand of the opposition what is uh, essentially all the non india political parties saying they are saying that the indian parliament is by far the most secure building in the country it had a security breach we want the government to give a statement followed by a short duration discussion on the issue this whole thing could have been sorted in a couple of hours the people who sit in those chambers like all of us are worried about not just our security we are worried about the security of the senior most functionaries of this government the prime minister sits in that chamber the home minister sits in that chamber the vice president of india sits in that chamber we are worried about everyone's security and if the indian parliament is not safe then which part of india is safe and look at the irony the bjp member of parliament that facilitated and sponsored the entry of the two intruders who then subsequently breached the security and jumped into the chamber that bjp mp has not been suspended or expelled his Chitta, membership is not even in question mr chadda uh, but mps who have been demanding an investigation and a statement by the government have been suspended that's the irony mr chadda uh, the lok sabha speaker in his letter to mps clearly said that the suspension is not really linked to them asking questions with regards to the security breach it has more to do with their unruly conduct those were his words and uh, the mps are in the well of the house uh, they are uh, carrying placards there is sloganeering the new parliament was to be about discussion debates and uh, the opposition has been pretty belligerent look almost uh, for the first two weeks of this winter session both houses lok sabha and rajya sabha functioned perfectly well despite the government running away from several important questions being raised by the opposition for two long weeks the parliament per functioned perfectly and business government business was transacted it is only after the security breach uh, on the anniversary of the 2001 parliament attack that all of us got worried and we are seeking a response from the government if there is one person that is actually disrupting this house or doesn't want the opposition to be present in the chamber it's the government they are following a rule of suspend throw out and bulldoze today i'm told i've not checked the figures but i'm told that critical legislation has been passed uh, in the lok sabha without a proper discussion and dialogue I mean what have we reduced democracy to it feels uh, as as not just as a member of parliament as an indian i feel that it is bjp's agenda to demolish every institution that represents government accountability or democracy in this country so let's talk about the other meeting of which you were a part uh, arvind kejriwal and you were part of the india block meeting which happened uh, there was this proposal which was made for uh, projecting mr malikarjun kharge as the face of the india block he has said let's win the elections first and then uh, there after look at it wouldn't that be a fair assessment because if you look at any kind of presidential contest bet between prime minister modi and whosoever will not be really a fair context because of his popularity and any form of post poll alliance is certainly workable well first of all uh, what the alliance finally decides uh, is something we will know in the coming days currently this is only a conversation that certainly happened uh, ms banerji and mr kejriwal both uh, mooted a discussion this they proposed the idea and subsequently this idea will be discussed and a decision will be arrived at but i personally feel as somebody who works very very closely with mr malikarjun kharge in the rajya sabha because he is the leader of the opposition and we sit in the opposition uh, that he is a great political luminary 
a social reformer and somebody who's risen from the grassroots. He comes from very humble backgrounds and has had a very traumatic childhood. He lost several members of his family to communal violence at a very young age. And from a block level leader of the Congress party to becoming the president of the Congress party and today, of course, uh, the leader of the opposition in the Rajya Sabha, he has held several responsibilities and, and, and quite successfully. He's a nine-time MLA, consecutive nine times from the same seat, two-time Lok Sabha MP, one-time Rajya Sabha MP. I think he has all the credentials to take this country forward. All right. Uh, my last question to you, because uh, this pertains to Punjab. The Ahmadmi Party has been insisting that they should be contesting on all seats, the Lok Sabha seats in Punjab. Any kind of seat sharing talks will happen only at the state level. My question then is that will AAP be open to seat sharing talks with the Congress party? And what if it really doesn't settle the way you are hoping for? Well, I think it's only fair, Maria, that I and me and my party comment on seat sharing post, uh, you know, some decisions have been arrived at. Currently, uh, conversations within the alliance have started on these lines. Uh, uh, hectic parlays will take place. Facts, figures, numbers will be discussed and in a very, uh, you know, uh, uh, amicable environment, I'm sure that seat sharing equations and arrangements of the entire country from why just Punjab and Delhi, why not Gujarat, UP, Bengal, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra, all these states will certainly be discussed and announced and once we have uh, a ready solution before us. It's only fair that I comment on it then. All right. We'll wait for that then. Uh, Raghav Chadda, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for joining us. We also.